everybody welcome back to my channel so today i am doing another makeup looks inspirations video so this one today is going to be inspiration for new year's eve i know that new year's is going to be very weird very different this year we're not allowed to go out but that is still not an excuse to get glam to feel good about yourself to go out of 2020 with a bang and welcome the new year in as we're all very ready to do so i thought i'd put together a little bit of glam for you today show you what products i'm using and yeah just have a bit of fun in the process so if you like the look of this makeup look then please keep on watching so to start off with i've already done my eyebrows i've prepped and primed my eyelids i am going to do with my eyes first um, just being real, I honestly have no idea where I'm going with this makeup look. I have an idea that I want to kind of go dark, either black smoky glitter or go for more of a blue. So we'll have to see, maybe I'll do both and just see where the makeup takes us. So these are the colours that I'm inspired by. That gorgeous blue there, I just think it's absolutely stunning. And it is a colour that I would be like... I wouldn't use it all year round. So it is a special like, New Year's Eve colour. Um, so that's one of the colours I'm inspired by. The other one is this Petal to Metal Cream Eyeshadow that I got from the Bomb Cosmetics and they look fantastic box if you've seen my unboxing of that. And it's this cream shadow here. So this is more of a purpley, um, like grey. So I'm either thinking purple or blue um, and I'm just going to be wearing a white top, like keeping it very real. If I'm getting ready on New Year's, I'm getting ready in my pyjamas, like I'm not going to be getting ready in my outfit. So I'm going to do a slow transformation and go from this to hopefully something a lot better. So we'll see where the makeup takes us. I am thinking um, dark black, maybe either a halo eye with the blue or I'll just do this glitter all over. I'm thinking more of the blue because it's something different. So let's get started. Got the New Year's Eve glam. I'm gonna go in with just the Conspiracy palette. I basically just take a lighter brown all over in the transition and then a darker brown um, here. And I'm just gonna go darker, darker, brown, brown, add some black, do some blue in the middle and see where it takes and then finish with skin. So that's my plan. So as I'm filming this, it is Christmas Eve tomorrow. So Christmas is right around the corner. Um, I really hope that you all have had a lovely Christmas, even though some of us are in tier three. There's talks about us, so like the hot everywhere being tier four, because I know some people are in tier four, like London areas. And obviously my heart goes out to you, that's horrible. And, um, I am in tier three. I'm just really hoping that we're not put in tier four before like the Christmas celebrations because that ruins a couple of plans. But we shall see. Um, but I hope, obviously, when this goes up, Christmas will have happened. So I hope that you've all had a really lovely Christmas, um, regardless of circumstances and... Um, yeah i just hope it was special and you could still sort of enjoy the day although it's definitely not what we all had plans or what we thought you know this christmas was going to be like so it's really hard also with like this makeup obviously we're not we're not really going to be going out we're probably going to be in lockdown but i mean i'm still going to be getting dressed up where's he dressed up i'm still going to be doing my makeup feeling nice i'm probably just going to be in like my some nice pjs or some loungewear but if my hair and makeup's done like then i feel a little bit more like i'm in the mood um and that's the same for christmas like i can't see me going all out and putting on like a really fancy outfit i mean i don't know what you guys do for christmas but i am i like the idea of dressing up every year when it comes around but like i pretty much stay in comfies most of the day um and then just do a bit of more glam makeup. So that's my plan for Christmas. It's literally just right around the corner. It's unbelievable how fast this year has gone. Um, obviously it's not been the year that any of us expected, but this year has definitely taught me a lot. Uh, I feel like a whole new person going into 2021. I have a lot of big plans for next year, 
um, a lot of personal achievements that I hope to um, get and it's just 2021 I want to be that step closer to me adulting a bit more um, I am going to do a whole video about my 2021 goals and I'm also going to be creating a bit of a vision board in that video as well so keep your eyes peeled for that I'm excited to film it I'm excited also just to create it and put all my ideas together of what I have planned for 2021 what I really want it to look like what I hope to achieve because I do a blog post every year about what I'd like to achieve that year um but obviously if I'm starting YouTube this year I'm like that's completely different um and I would love to reflect on that in by the end of 2021 and see what I've achieved I just think it'd be really interesting to see I've also got some snacks I've got some Bombay mix and some squash because I mean let's get let's be real like I'm not about to get drunk in the middle of the day and then I'm going to darken this up with a shade chocolate this is from my Juvia's Place the Dulce palette I kind of hope that I get some new palettes for Christmas because I know that I absolutely use the palettes I've got at the minute to death so I just want to build this colour up with the dark brown before I go in with the black. So I feel this is going to be a um, blue halo eye. So this is going to look quite messy at first before I clean everything up. So I'm happy with how that's looking at the minute. I'm going to go in with a bit of black. I'm going to go back into the Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palettes in the shade My Rides here. And just darken that more we're just going to keep blending keep blending like this is going to look this is going to look worse before it starts to look better so rather annoyingly my phone decided to cut off stop filming and i only just realized so the last thing that you've seen is that i had the brown and then i added i think the chocolate brown um on the outer and inner corners what i did after that which the camera didn't pick up is i went in with the conspiracy palette into the color my riders here so basically i took the black and i did the same thing with the brown i went on the outside i went on the inside went on the outside and then went on the inside and i blended those together and then i added my color on the middle and that color is this color called berber in the palette the saharan 2 by juvia's place so i took this gorgeous blue and i put it on a flat shader brush one like this and essentially just patted 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 in the middle until i got the amount of product that i wanted and then because i'd lost the color the darkness on the outside went back in with my black built up the black again, lost a bit of the black, went back in with the blue. So basically kept adding the black, kept adding the blue. And then I had quite a lot of fallout down here. So what I did after that, once I got the desired effect, is I got a cotton pad and just got wiped away the excess, which leaves me with this really sharp line here. And now my makeup is done at the top. So I need to still sort this out because as you can see, it's really dark on the inner corner here. Um, and I need to add a little bit of darkness underneath. So that was just bring you up to speed of what happened whilst I was gone. So annoying that it stops filming like the most pivotal points. So irritating. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, lighten up this inner corner. I'm going to go in with this skin coloured eyeshadow and just lighten that here. Just want to buff out the harsh dark edges so now that i'm happy with the results on the top i'm now going to do my skin makeup and then i'm going to finish the um eyes once i've done that so i'm going to do my foundation so i'm just going to use the l'oreal true match foundation and i use the shade 2r2c vanilla rose so i'm just going to give that a shake and I've also got a new beauty blender that came in my Nivea advent calendar this morning so I'm going to put that to the test as well so I'm going to do like a pump and a half and hopefully that should do my whole face 
So my foundation still, I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is just the Age Rewind. So this is, for me, a lot of makeup. Like, I wouldn't do this day to day. This is for New Year's. So now that the concealer is done, I'm just going to set that all in place. So it is starting to look quite crazy on top because um, my eyeshadow is all top heavy. So I will calm it down once I put some eyeshadow underneath my eyes. My um, eyeshadow brushes are, well, all of my makeup brushes are so desperate to be washed. They're all looking pretty grim. Try and get rid of that double chin after Christmas. Is it after Christmas? Let's be real. Double chin was like there way before. So I'm just going to add some blush. I do like quite a lot of blush. Add some blush to the nose. And then I'm going to add the highlight and then return back to the eyes and finish those off. So now that I've finished with the face makeup, I'm going to return back to the eyes, sort out these harsh edges here, and then hopefully pull everything together. So I'm going in with Tanacon, which is a light brown for underneath the eyes. So I don't know if you can see, but the eyeshadow, the blue eyeshadow, has kind of dropped down and almost given me like a blue eyeliner here because it's kind of one of the lash line, which I actually, I'm not mad about. I quite like it. So I'm just adding brown trying to add that darkness and depth underneath the eye so it is not so top heavy so then i'm going to darken that up with um the diet root beer so it's just a bit of a darker brown to the one that i've just used and it's all about just building it up the darkness the darkness so you can see that i've brought the lighter brown quite low down i'm going to put this a little bit higher and then the darker colors i'm going to put tighter and tighter to the waterline and now i'm going to add a just a black or a dark brown liner um, shadow to the lash line i am going to finish off with some black eyeliner in the waterline and tight line i'm not going to put any black liner on top i'm just going to keep the top as it is so i'm going in with a dark brown in juvia's place um just the chocolate color um in my just above uh where the bottom lashes are I'll just push that into the bottom lash bottom lashes so as you can see, I've balanced out the dark on the top on the bottom there. So I'm going to add a inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight. And also um, to water, put some black line in the water line and tight line. And then we can do lashes, lips, and that will be the makeup done. I'm going to highlight with the shade Ranch in the Jeffree Star palette. because It's a beautiful white. And just put that in the inner corner as well. So we're now going to do a bit of black um, eyeliner. This is age the number seven one. So that is what the eyes look like at the moment. I'm going to add some mascara and then some lashes and I shall come back to you when I'm about to do my lips. So lashes are on and they are drying. So whilst I do that, I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to go in with a Rimmel lip pencil in the shade Cappuccino and outline my lips and colour them in a little bit with this. And then to fill in the gap, I'm going to go in with a velvet teddy, just a lighter nude on the inner corners. So you've got a slight ombre there, which I quite like. So now that the makeup is done, I'm not sure whether to add a gloss or just to leave it as is. I might leave this as it is. I'm going to finish my hair throw on a nice top and come back and show you the finished result in all its glory. So I am back after finishing my lips, my lashes. I've just thrown through a few curls in the hair, put on a lacy top and this is the look all finished. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and it's giving you some inspiration for some makeup looks or tips or just some ideas for New Year's Eve or just for when we can next get glam or whatever that is. So I'll give you a bit of a close up of this makeup look before I sign off. <music> Thank you.
so that is the end of today's video i really hope you've all enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a big like and a comment and share this video and i really look forward to seeing you all in the new year for some more content I just also want to say thank you all so much for supporting me this year for the beginning of my youtube channel and i appreciate it so much and i look forward to seeing you all in the new year bye guys